first got involved in scouting when I was, before I was born. My, both my parents uh, involved within scouting and guiding. Uh, my dad being a scout leader, mum being the guide leader. And pretty much I've been camping since I was about three. So the journey through scouting is obviously I started before a lot of other people because I was the, the son of a leader. But you first start now when you're four as a squirrel. That wasn't available to me when I, when I was first I'm joining in, but it is now. Uh, I started as a beaver, which is a six to eight year old. And I remember being a little annoying person who would always need uh, chasing after and I kept, kept an eye on and that. And then we moved, I moved up to Cubs, which is the next section, which goes from eight to 10 years old. And uh, I, did, I did grow up a little bit there. You could take an eye off me here and there, uh, but I was still a little monster. Um, and then I moved up to Scouts where I was with my dad as a scout leader. Uh, and I think that's where I actually uh, did start to mature a lot more, uh, learn, learn a lot more new skills. And then I'm now where I am now, uh, which is a 14 to 18 year old, which is an explorer. And then after this, I will hopefully go on to become rather a leader myself or go into networking. Uh, throughout scouting, I've completed loads of different accomplishments. Uh, I've pushed myself through challenges and uh, tried to make the best out of everything. Um, Probably like uh, a year ago, maybe two years ago now, I helped an older gentleman who had fallen off a curb and injured himself. I received the Commissioner's Commendation Award for helping him out, which was really nice. And there's only about four people in the county with that award. Um, and then, as well as that, I've done my DV, I've completed my bronze. I'm just about to complete my silver, just a little bit more. Uh, and I've just started my gold DV, which when I finish, I will meet uh, the King. So the fundraising for Wilson Jamboree was, as a, as, a, as a person, I had to raise £3,850, which would sound like a, a big feat, but if you've got the idea, you can make, you can make it quite fast. Um, so I started off by doing group fundraisers, uh, where we would come together as a brig unit and we would put on things like an afternoon tea session for the old ladies to come in, have a nice chit chat drink some tea, some cakes, and it was, it was quite nice. Personally, I made little uh, Lego figures uh, that sit about here, that went on a woggle, which is what you wear around your necker. And I raised 2,000 pounds in four days using them. And then uh, we applied for grants through councils, and Delta uh, amazingly gave me 500 pounds during the jamboree on the actual site. There was only one proper road that went through the centre of the campsite and you just walk through and there'd be load different countries. There'd be the entire world basically in these shelters, shelters just with badges and uh, neckers and shirts and everything on the floor trying to trade everything with you. And you'd just walk through and you'd meet people from everywhere. Uh, so there was Argentinians, there was uh, Mexicans, there was people from France. I think it was 160 different countries. Uh, 50,000 people. It built your confidence up to just go and speak to people. I remember having to get off the coach and drag these heavy bags about, I think they were about 30 kilograms each of these bags, down this gravel track th um, through this mud area to a campsite where we then had to drop them, put the tents up, and then head straight off to the opening ceremony. It was manic, but it was such a fun time. And then we even had the president of South Korea open the campsite for us. So the activities on the campsite was separated into three, three different sections and during a day you were given a, a pass to go and uh, do any activity you wanted in that section and you, there was like these challenges you had to complete where you had to do certain uh, like activities and it would earn you a badge. Uh, there was also off-site activities so there was chances to visit loads of different places. So there was power gliding, white water rafting, uh, kayaking, climbing, abseiling, crafts, anything, everything. The first night we actually got there, we had the opening ceremony. So we got there, we got our tents up, we um, got our bags in the tents, set up beds, uh, set up the kitchen area, uh, and then pretty much we got our uniforms on, rushed straight out to this, the ceremony. And then I think we got back about one o'clock in the morning. Uh, hadn't had tea yet, so we cooked up tea at about half one in the morning. I don't think any of us will sleep until half two, three a.m. And then we're up again at six, seven o'clock in the morning to get breakfast and get going. Uh, we obviously were evacuated off the site due to um, heat wave and 
uh, due to the camp's conditions not being too well. But we, were, we did all survive. Uh, all the 5,000 of us that were from the UK uh, were just placed back, in, back into the capital, Seoul. And we just went around, did more activities in, in Seoul, went out for, for tea uh, and tried more Korean food. Went to some loads of different markets. The rest of the campsite was evacuated afterwards due to a hurricane warning, which we did see a couple photos of the campsite afterwards, which didn't look good. So we, we made it through and we, we got there, but it's definitely an experience that you're not gonna see again. Joining Scouts isn't just about just being there and playing a part. It's just pushing yourself. You can you can do everything and anything you can you want and achieve as much as you want just by doing it yourself. Just trying to get involved, always speaking to people and make, making communication with people you wouldn't think you'd ever speak to. All you have to do is go to the Scout website and press join, join, and you, and it will give you details to the nearest hut where you can go and join join a group. And the activities and th things I've done within scouting have been lifetime memories.